Hi, this is Reflections, Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. Um, today I want to discuss um, how the solar flares uh, are affecting the magnetic grid, which is affecting uh, all of our, let's call them, symptoms of the shift, and how we can find a, our peaceful center. Um, I call it finding our peaceful center in, the, in our chaotic world. Um, because that's what we're all challenged with right now. And uh, my friend Hannah Hunter sent me an interesting article on the solar flares and the magnetics. So some of this information comes from there. Some comes from Drumbo Melchizedek, who uh, gave a talk on this at the recent gathering in Sedona. And some of it comes from Ezekiel. <laughs> so you get a combo. But today's quote, um, listen to this. In the words of the Maya, it is said that we are now in a time of, sh of change and conflict. The change is coming from the outside in the way of weather, natural phenomena, celestial disturbances, and man-made self-inflicted trauma. The conflict comes from the inside in the way of our personal challenge going through these times of grief, bewilderment, fear, anxiety, stress, depression. So it's, the Mayans had said at this time we would be at a crossroads. Um, okay, a crossroads is always, whenever I hear that or feel I'm at it, is always an, a wonderful opportunity to take stock and proceed cautiously, co consciously and from your heart in whichever direction you choose to go. So every crossroads brings us an opportunity. For those of us, the choice now is that uh, you can choose to hang on to the old patterns, the old forms, um, trying to create predictability out of chaos. Or you can choose to follow the feelings coming up as these things change and bring them into peace in your heart and expanded consciousness. What will, what will really move us through these times is not resistance to the emotions triggered by these changes um, on the outside, but... Um, following the feelings and uh, guidance and emotions coming from a place in our center that is all-knowing. Um, you call it whenever you want. I call it the peaceful center of the heart. It's our God self. It's our higher self, our angelic self. I don't care. It doesn't matter what names we have for it. We know what it feels like. And most of the time, we know how to get there. Often we know how to get there. But the hardest is getting there when we're in the midst of the chaos. And some of the symptoms I, I get into in my article, either if you got my email or, or written below for you YouTubers, um, some of the symptoms right now, of course, some of them you're familiar with, um, but it's, it's such things as um, the heart, rapid heart palpitations, the tones in the ear, um, which I found out recently are definitely caused by solar flare and magnetic disturbances. Um, uh, forgetting, forgetfulness, you know, you're in the middle of a sentence, you forget the word, you walk into a room, forget what you were getting. Uh, confusion, sleeplessness, irritability. Um, anyway, they go on and on, um, and I'm no stranger to many of these. Um, and they are caused... Uh, on one energetic way that's proven scientifically, actually, um, by solar flares and how they affect our magnetic field and the magnetic field of the Earth and of us, which is changing. When a solar flare explodes on the sun, that energy is, is moves outward, meant much of it, some of it coming uh, on into our atmosphere and into Earth. As it comes, those energies, high frequencies of the solar explosions come to Earth, they, uh, they are come through the magnetic grid. In other words, the magnetic grid is like the conduit, and uh, it creates disturbances. And these disturbances are insisting that we become more conscious, whether it's a tsunami and an earthquake, as we've been discussing the last three weeks on the outside or on the inside. Uh, it, it is creating disturbances. We, are, we all have magnetic fields. Uh, Gaia has a magnetic field. We're all receiving these solar flares, and we are all showing the symptoms. Okay, so what do we do about these symptoms? Um, it's one thing to understand that's why, and that helps. 
Um, because, yeah, it's good to get checked out by the doc if you really have a concern. I'd really think twice about getting on certain meds and things. Really, really do your own inner work, following your feelings, your anxiety, um, all these things to where they can um, be brought into higher consciousness and integration in the heart. Because our goal here is to go through these times with joy not in fear and anxiety. So in order to do it, we have to find that place inside of us, know how to get there, know how to center in it, know how to breathe it in, uh, and work with the emotions that are coming up because of the disruptions. They're, they're our journey. They're, they're what's going to see us through, as, as I've been saying. And so recently, um, when I was in the midst of all I was going through a few weeks ago, on my... On my um, I, not my iPad, what is it? iPod. <laughs> I have so many i things. Um, there's like, you know, maybe three, four thousand songs and things, and oftentimes I put them on shuffle and just play them in my car. Well, on there also, uh, long ages ago, I downloaded, I did a series in the early 90s of eight um, guided meditations, channeled guided meditations, and um, they're awesome. And uh, the original music was created to go with each one by John Reasoner. And I've never done much. I did in the, initially back then do a lot with them, but recently haven't done much with them. And they started, you know, when you have that many uh, songs, files on shuffle, you don't come up with those so often, eight out of 3,000. Well, lately, constantly they're coming up. And, you know, I used to just buzz by them. And I got this huge hit from Ezekiel, listen. Listen, and what I discovered, and through his help, the help of Ezekiel, that these eight guided journeys, which seemed to me so long ago, are so relevant right now um, to bring peace and understanding, expansion to help you identify uh, your guides, to get um, to get wisdom from them, to uh, work problem solve, and uh, just just to relax and move through into your heart. That's where the name Heart Lights came from, because the very first one I was given, um, we named Heart Lights. And um, it is about two, two of the guided journeys, our journeys into your heart, exploring what's there. Over the years, they've been used by recovery programs in hospitals. Uh, they've been successful uh, in helping people with ADD and post-traumatic stress. Interesting enough, I've been talking about it for three weeks. These are awesome tools. So I was encouraged by Ezekiel to get them back out there. And the way that I'm doing it is through downloads, not through CDs, because uh, that's no one would do, but not even through CDs, but downloads. So um, all eight of them, which they're each about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, four CDs, eight different journeys, are all available for download for $19.99. You know, that's that's great. Um, you can listen to a sample. You can even uh, order just one if you want. But, you know, I, it's time for me to get them out there. And I, it's time for you and maybe people that need some help to listen to them for sleep at night, uh, for children that are agitated. Children seem to love them. Many children seem to love them. So uh, they've kind of been asleep. And the magnetic grid, the solar flares, all the symptoms going on, and what's been shaking up in my life has shook them back up out of me. Um, because, as Ezekiel said, they are tools for these times, tools that can help you, um, tools that can expand you and help you stay centered and peaceful. So uh, give them a look-see, and have a great week, and we'll see you again next week. Enjoy the spring. Bye now.